marriage. Thought I'd be 80 years old before we got back to California. <laughs> so you were in Mexico City? Did you see the palace of the Viceroy? I did. Wait, you're here alone? Where's Diego? Hasn't he come back from Spain yet? Diego hasn't gotten up yet. You know him, a sleepyhead since he was born. I remember the day he made this Chumash bracelet for me. Yes, I remember that day well, too. You fell off your horse because of one of his totally ridiculous bets. <sighs> my father nearly chopped my brother to pieces. <laughs> oh, Diego. He was feisty and afraid of nothing. He hated being locked up indoors, reading books. He was so very handsome. <sighs> you know, Diego has changed a bit. Hush, not one word now. I like surprises. <laughs> Father! Diego, great news, my boy. I just saw Don Luis. His daughter Carmen is back. Carmen? How is she? You can ask her yourself. You and I will go pay them a visit. How about having your wedding after the harvest? Yes, you'll see. This one will unite our two families and be a historical moment for California. Hmm. Uh, wait, uh... I just barely got back from Spain. Isn't it a little early to talk about marriage? You don't want to get married? Fine then, we'll start with an engagement party. <sighs> Sergeant, the special of the day. Swordfish? You hear that, Gonzalez? Carlos has swordfish on the menu. Uh, hmm. Well, soldier, you go inspect the stables while I, uh, while I go inspect the swordfish. Uh, <laughs> but, Sergeant... Don't sergeant me! Those stables had better be perfectly clean. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Garcia? No. Oh. Good sir! Yes, Captain! Still interrogating the locals? Have you found anyone who knows where Zorro is? Uh, still haven't found anyone who knows, Captain. Well, ask everybody. Surely you'll find somebody who knows something. Oh, I know. I'll go ask all the employees and the guests at the inn. <laughs> Garcia! Garcia! <laughs> <laughs> Brush hard, Sarge. These stables must be perfectly clean. <laughs> that man. Take him in for questioning. I'll interrogate him. Yes, sir. What? Where are we going? Me. The army has fallen into disgrace since I left. Uh, will Monasterio ever stop harassing the people in this land? Oh, how I detest that man! Mm. Ooh, have you heard about that Zorro? <laughs> More than heard! I actually saw him the first time he showed up in public. Lucky you! Don Luis, I wasn't aware that your daughter was back among us. Senorita, you are a sight for sore eyes. <gasps> hmm. Los Angeles is most fortunate to have the two loveliest roses in all California. Uh, Captain, you're exaggerating. Not me. Not by one single syllable, my lovelies. Hmm. Uh, Captain, my daughter and I must return to our hacienda. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Villalonga won't act so cocky after I've had my say. Neither will the girl. Recognize you. Uh, what? Ah. 
Are you saying I used to be ugly? No, you've never been ugly. You've always been, uh, you always, I, I mean, uh, pretty. Pretty? And here I thought you'd have learned fancier words at college. I shall have to lend you a few books. <laughs> Hello, Don Luis. Hello, my friend. Aren't they sweet together? Let's leave them alone and go make wedding plans. <laughs> I'll have to add a few rooms to the hacienda for our future grandchildren. Ahem. Uh, going overboard, aren't they? Right. Wonder what put that idea in their heads. How could you... You and me? What an odd idea, right? <laughs> We're two good friends. We've known each other for so long. For too long, perhaps. California has changed since we were children. Monasterio has made life more difficult for everybody. What are you planning to do to defend us? Huh? Nothing. What? Diego de la Vega! Shame on you! It's a good thing we have Zorro. Uh, oh no, please. Don't tell me you're one of his admirers too. At least he's a man with courage and spunk. You still act like a little boy. That's awful. What is it? It's ugly. Red bear, worn out. Worse, it clashes with your dress. You should get a new one. Mm. Uh, I don't want a new one. I, oh, you are such a bother. Just go home. <laughs> huh? Carmen, Diego. <laughs> Captain, what good wind brings you to see Don Luis? Military business, Don Diego. Really, Diego? What came over you? Don Luis is my best friend. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Father, but I was bored to tears back there. I can't wait to be in the Hacienda to read my favorite poems. <clears throat> you are absolutely right. I guess I did go overboard. I guess I'm not used to staying up without a square meal. What is this important matter you wish to discuss, Captain? Don Luis, there's talk in Los Angeles that you openly criticize me. Hmm. Says who? Those poor innocent people you randomly arrest for questioning? Surely you know that for insolence like that, I can have you arrested on the spot? However, I'm here to make a proposal. I want to marry your daughter. <gasps> Carmen? Absolutely. It would prove to everyone that you're loyal. <laughs> hmm. And would make you a rich uh. landowner one day. I'm warning you, oh. Violonga. If Carmen doesn't become mine, I'll ruin you. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be back to woo the little darling. Get out, Captain. I suggest you receive me with all the honors due to a man of my rank. Father, I heard you both. What will become of us? Don't worry, darling. I would never betroth my daughter to a bandit. Uniform or no uniform. Diego, have you been out in the sun too long? Why did you say such silly things to Carmen? Because Zorro can't ever get married. Look, Carmen is marvelous. I would have loved to spend all day with her today. But if I marry her, she'll find out who Zorro is, and then she'd be in danger. Ah. It's better to keep her away from me, for her safety. Huh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Diego de la Vega. <gasps> Good morning, Father. Sleep well? Good morning, Ines. If you do not go back immediately and talk to your fiancé and apologize on bended knee, I shall kick you out of the house without your poetry books. Mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> yes, Father, I promise. Today, Carmen will hear my guitar and my song, begging her forgiveness. Oh. Hmm. 
Huh? If Ines hadn't told me you were deaf, I'd give you all kinds of messages to tell Diego. What a cad. Sending you instead of coming himself? Oh, I'd like to sink my nails into him. Huh. Hmm. Uh. Thanks, Bernardo. Carmen's quite pleased. She <gasps> very much enjoyed the music. Oh. Huh? No eating the flowers, naughty horse. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bernardo. Hey, these flowers aren't for you. They're for Senorita Carmen. Hands off, or my captain will flay us both alive. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain, mm. but I get the feeling Senorita Carmen may not like cut flowers. Hmm. Flowers? I can't stand flowers. Achoo! Oh, how pretty! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for this, Garcia. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Gather all the men. We'll go visit Villalonga. I'm going to bring that arrogant family to heel. Huh? <sighs> Hello, Doña Ines. We work, 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 night and day, just like slaves. Oh, why do we have to arrest everyone at Villalonga's? <gasps> We're taking everybody in. We'll be interrogating them about Zorro. And we'll take as long as we need to, through harvest oh. time, if need be. Our crops would be lost. You want to ruin me? <laughs> oh. Don Luis, help us! Get out of the way. You can't do this! I'm with you. Don't worry, men. I'll get you out of this. <laughs> halt! Hands up! <laughs> Senorita. <gasps> <laughs> Captain, what are you doing here? 
I've come to pay homage to the future Signora Monasterio. Oh? Where might she be? Do we have another guest in the house? You are just like your father. You people think you can get away with anything because you're high-born rancheros. But I'll put you in your rightful place. Zorro! Captain? Oh! Senorita, forgive me for coming into your home without having been invited. But I do believe my friend the captain needs some advice and gallantry. Oh, phone guard! The key to unlocking a lady's heart is patience. <laughs> Women like poets. Did you know that, Captain? Maybe you should try telling her about the beauty of the stars. <sighs> Maybe you should just shut up! Sorrow! <sighs> Got you, Sorrow! <laughs> Must be a sword fight in there. Zoro! Garcia! Fire! What are you waiting for? Huh? Shoot that out! Hey! Uh, not in the house. We might damage something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Captain! I'm coming! Hey! Me first! <laughs> Lancers! Block all exits! Yes, sir! On guard! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> we got him, we got him! And go. watch this! <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> got it! Garcia! You idiot! Thank you, Sergeant! <laughs> You're welcome. Gosh, uh, give up, scallywag! Grab that man! You're done, Soro! Captain, I suppose it's time to bid you adios, but I'll always be available should you need another lesson in gallantry. Hmm. Adios! Sign of Zoro, Captain. He's vanished, and the Peonis have vanished too. Your friend saved your skin this time, Don Luis. Maybe he won't be there the next time. Hmm. <laughs> Back to the garrison. Move out. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Senorita. Hmm. Be 
Before leaving, I wanted to be sure you're all right. Uh, I do want to thank you for your help, Senor Zoro. <laughs> oh! I shouldn't accept this, but you have risked your life for us. Please be more careful, sir. <laughs> I won't let anyone catch me. I can promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Tornado! Fight the wind! Ha 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 ha!